Pokemon and we're back with a new Let's Play. So I asked on Twitter what people wanted to see me play. Shadow Heart, Legend of Dragoon, Xenosaga 2, and I kind of just decided um, people did want to see me play Shadow Hearts, but I also want to play Xenosaga, so I'm going to kind of play them both, and I'm just going to stop that from happening. Um, it actually took a while to get this to work to get both this and Xenosaga set up under the same settings where I could play both games without having to change um, my emulator settings too much between the games. And I got it down to the point where I only have to change one setting between the games. And yes, I'm playing these emulated and before anybody says a word, I do own Shadow Hearts, here's the disc. Um, and it's gonna be the same for Xenosaga, but I'll do that when I record Xenosaga. So, this is the sequel to Kodalka. Oh, god damn it. This is the sequel to Kodalka, which I have already done on the channel. Now, it's the sequel in that there are characters and concepts and it's the same game world that cross over, but it doesn't... You don't have to play Kodalka to know what's going on in this game. You will see places and people from Kodalka, but you don't... It's not necessary to play Kodalka to play this. It's also a fairly hard game to find, but... I mean, let's just get on with it. Also, you're going to get to hear my voice acting, because unlike Kodalka, which is entirely voice acted, Shadow Hearts only has voice acting during the FMVs and a couple cutscenes, as far as I remember, because I've only actually played the full game all the way through once. So yeah, you're going to get to hear my voice acting. Awesome. <laughs> And it took a while to get this to work because there was an issue with one of, with a couple of the scenes, so I had to like re-download my um or re-rip off the ISOs off of my disc multiple times before I got one that actually freaking worked. <laughs> and with settings that actually were oh, oh my god. Stop Emulators are hard to do for PS2. <laughs> They're hard to configure correctly to work for games, unlike EPSXE for PlayStation 1 where you can just set your settings and you will be golden for most of the games without having to switch a single thing. Also, get ready for some Uncandy Valley because this is an early PS2 game. Kind of thing. Yeah, 2001. So this is like, la not launch title, but fairly, fairly, uh, it hasn't aged well. <laughs> I mean, look, look at that face, you guys. <laughs> Granted, I'm playing this on the, on an emulator, so it's stretched. It's not at 4, 3 aspect ratio. It's, it's, uh, 16, 9, whatever the other, the long aspect ratio is. Oh, well. And usually I don't record this late at night. It's all right. My roommate's it's gone for the weekend. And it's still a long way to Fengtian. Also, Major no subtitles Soji, for some reason. What is reason. this about? Why the special train in the middle of the night to escort this girl to Japan? I love that guy's voice. She looks pretty ordinary this, to me. To escort this girl to Japan. <laughs> There's no telling what the big shots in Tokyo are thinking. <laughs> Next time I see you know who, I'll ask her, okay? Well, I don't think you're gonna get to ask anybody anything anymore. Sucks to suck. Ah! He didn't even have to move. He was like, I'm gonna What's just going be on? a badass. Badass old man is a badass. Where they gonna stop the shoulder? God, I haven't played this game since high school. I haven't even seen it since high school. And that Alice is just like, oh my god. Alright, that girl's name is Alice. Die. I don't think it's working, bro. Uh, it's you. Yes, Roger Bacon. I'm honored that you are. You are not so Roger Bacon. Well. Anybody who has seen a play code down yes. knows you are not Speak. Roger Bacon. A baker. Come along quietly, sister. Roger Bacon is a lot ah, shorter a and a lot faster. Early PS2 
graphics that uh -huh. look like their PS1 graphics. Animations in this game are so lulzy sometimes, but it's a great one. This is a great game. I fucking love it. All, it gets, all of the polish in the animation mostly gets cleared up in the sequel, Shadow Hearts Covenant. But, oh my god, the fact that this game hasn't aged well just makes it even better. Because <laughs> this, this game is just so deep in the uncanny valley during the FMVs, it just makes it beautiful. Okay, so the fighting system works a little bit weirdly. You have to hit the little things on the little ring. Because if you don't, you don't get to attack. Because you can't just hit attack and attack in this game. No, that's two Final Fantasy from Shadow Hearts. You have to actually work for your attacking. But you still get experience points like a Final Fantasy game, so. Okay, there should be an item here because I was testing and I saw it. Cool. I got a thing! I got another thing! Oh, hey, look, dead bodies! Oh, hey, look, more dead bodies! I still have dead bodies. This so looks like a PS1 game, but it's. This game is gorgeous. It has its moments when it's gorgeous. But let's be honest here, you guys. This looks like a PS1 game. <laughs> but it's a PS... <laughs> PlayStation 2. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, here's the beginning of my wonderful voice acting. <laughs> You're persistent little rats, aren't you? Watch up! Seriously, her skirt's way too short. You're gonna see another cutscene, but I'm pretty sure the edge of her skirt sits on, like, her waist. You ain't getting away, Pops! Oh, no, he's, he's definitely gonna get away, bro. They're both to be adorable, they're distracting me. So, he's got knuckles. Let's turn into a monster! Why not? <laughs> Cause everybody's gotta have a hobby! There wasn't really any point in me doing this. I remember doing my testing to make sure this game works. That I can't win this fight. It's one of those, oh hey, you do the fight, but we ain't gonna let you win the fight. Because y'all can't have nice shit. Attack kills me. Well, insta kills me. And the Sephiroth shows up because you got can't have a game with lots of religious imagery with imagery without having a Sephiroth. Almost like I'm ass kicked. A little stronger than I expected. Ow. No, foul monster. You shall cease to be. I'm the monster? <laughs> really? Nope. Special neck special necklace of MacGuffin! What's on earth? Yeah, time for the special necklace of MacGuffin, you guys. What? Seriously, look at that skirt. Falcon! Oh, the FMVs look so terrible. So they, they keep wavering between awesome looking and terrible. I can't decide which. Down! And now we go to the moon! That's a good, good game. Good game. His 
hair looks so weird. I mean, again, everything's better, like, everything graphic-wise is better in the sequel, but his hair just looks like he's going bald and he's wearing a toupee. Not in this, um, lovely artwork, actually, but, you know. Yay! World map! Pressing blah 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 nobody cares. So I'm just going to pop the save real quick. Just gonna overwrite this because it was my test file. What's my oh, triangle? Let's go to the plains because nothing terrible is going to possibly happen where we just so happen to fall off the train. It's like, no, we couldn't fall off, we couldn't jump off the train in a nice place, or just a regular plane. Of course it has to be a plane where something terrible is going to happen to us. Hi, honey. Yo there. Finally coming too, huh? If you're looking for the train, it's long gone. Oh no! <laughs> Pretty exciting, huh? You getting a tingly feeling? Right about here? See, when I first played this game, I swear to god I thought he was trying to grab her crotch there. But if you look at it, he's pointing at her stomach. Like, tingly, excited stomach feelings. But Yuri is also just a tactless, perverted fool. Like, he is 1000% a tactless, perverted fool. Yuri, by the way, is his name. We'll find that out in, like, a minute. N no Stay away! I don't know why she turned into Ashley Graham for Resident Evil 4, but <clears throat> I'll have to get a better voice than that. Stay away? I haven't even done anything yet. Stay! Stay back, please! I- I can't! No, I- I can't do anything! I- Hooray! Huh? Uh, where do you think you're going? I'm telling you, it's not safe that way. Aw, oh, give me a break. Hey, girly, don't run off like that. We, we hear voices in our heads, and they make us hurt. Our that hurts. Not that damn voice again. Stupid voices. Okay, I got it. I'm supposed to protect her, right? Cause, you know, you always just listen to the random voices in your head. Eek! <laughs> I mean, why not listen to the random voices in your head telling you to do stuff and giving you migraines? It's just as it's just a fabulous thing to do. It definitely won't uh get you killed. <laughs> huh? Hey, what are you doing? Wake up! Were you attacked or something? I told you it was dangerous, didn't I? And he's got a heart above his head. This is gonna go pleasant. Looks like I'm the one who's getting all tingly inside. Maybe I should make a move. You are getting creepier by the second, my friend. <laughs> um, hello? Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> and another heart. Great. I wonder if she'd mind if I... Please don't finish that sentence, sir. <laughs> Never finish that sentence. Never do anything to a girl who is not currently awake. And or is pretending to be asleep as this lady is. <laughs> hey, girl, don't just lie there like a dead fish. Get up. Yeah, see, she was awake. <laughs> so she totally heard me creeping on her. <laughs> I bust my hump saving you, and then you take one look at me and run off. Then you faint? You got no manners, you know that? Uh, a monster just suddenly... Yeah? There's lots of hungry wolves and blood-sucking bats around here. You're probably attracted to them. You smell pretty good, you know. You smell pretty. 
<laughs> dot dot yeah, that's the that's the correct response to Yuri. Like ninety nine percent of the time, it's just dot dot dot. Okay. Anyway, don't run off like that, okay? Cause if I don't do like the voice says, my head's gonna split open. Yeah, because that's totally the thing that you say to somebody that you just met to get them to listen to you. Huh? Don't harm me. Someone or something is pretty damn insistent that I protect you. Girl I just met. <laughs> protect me? Yeah, and he's gonna fail horribly at that job multiple times in this video game. If I remember correctly, again, I haven't played this game since high school and I only played it once. That's right, it's always go protect that person or go to that town. Stupid voice jumps into my head all the time. You know, and now it's ordered me to protect you. Anyway, at least I'm never bored. Wherever it tells me to go, there are always plenty of monsters. So, that's why you were on the train? Look at her skirt, guys. Look at the back part of her skirt. It flips up, and I swear, like, the edge of that skirt is at least at her hip bone. Which definitely puts it above the crotch and butt level. <laughs> her skirt defies gravity and is just wonderful. <laughs> but... Thanks to that voice, I'm changing from your ordinary bad boy type into a real psycho. What about you? Hey, are you psycho too? Do you see weird things? Well, I mean, there's all those monsters on the train. If they were kind of visible. Maybe. <laughs> Just like, maybe. <laughs> well, you don't seem quite like me, but whatever. We can't just chat all day. First, We've got to find a place to rest, and I'm getting hungry. A rude hero. His name is Rude Hero, and girl in danger. <laughs> oh, game. You're, you're, you give me a life. Whoa, almost forgot. My name's Yuri, like the girl on girl anime hentai porn. And it's also a Russian name. So it's a Japanese name and a Russian name. And a Japanese genre of hentai. I guess. Um, shit. Um. Default. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, he almost became Yuri. <laughs> Yuri. You can call me Yuri. Yuri. I'm. Alice! Just like the main character in my webcom. Alice, Elliot, please to call, please call me Alice. See, a good reason to keep their names default in this game is if you saw it in the very beginning of the game, it did say Alice Elliot on the paper, and I can't remember, but I think at least a couple times names do get said during the FMVs. So I mean, it just keeps everything nice and tidy. Heh, <laughs> Alice, huh? Even your name's cute. And he's hit. Yep, that dot dot dot. That is, that is the correct response to this man. Okay, I got it. I won't touch you. <laughs> See? He's learning. Right, we're off. Oh, you're, you're a dumb. Okay, we obviously can't go that way yet. Can I turn on subtitles? No, I get into the. There we go. Valuable. Graveyard. That's going to be important later. Uh, options. There we go. Yes, and it's fine, 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 fine. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry, you guys. I uh, I tried. I guess you guys don't get to have subtitles during the FMVs. This is probably the only real, the only game, PS2 game that I've heard of that doesn't natively have subtitles on the FMVs. I mean, like, Final Fantasy X just has them. Tsk. A dead end. Um, maybe if we do something with the sluice gates, we'll be able to cross the river. Question mark? Huh? Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking of the same thing. No, he wasn't. He's a dumbass. 
He's an absolute dumbass. Er, anyway, let's have a little search then. And now she is inside me! <laughs> um, do I do the... D d pull the thing? Uh, keep dead these around whenever you... Okay, so... Can't get that gate to move. And... Random battles. And the girl fights with a book. Because of course she does. Oh, come on, that should have been a nice, not a good. Gross! I don't like spiders. Also, these are really thick goddamn spiders. Oh, they make sounds! They make sounds during the fight scenes, even though they don't most of Oh, white magic. Oh, right, because she is my healer. Because of course the woman love interest is the healer. Okay. Let's fight people with a book! <laughs> She's pathetic! Oh! So, the gate itself is all rotten, but the handle might work, so we can take the handle off of here and take it to the other sluice gate. Oh god. Okay, this is gonna go terribly bad. <laughs> yes, I know what the rings are. Whoops. This is getting pretty tough. No, 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 we're doing it again. Fuck you, game, we're doing it again. <laughs> This is just like question mark, question mark. Oh god, why am I with this goober? Oh, I almost got it. Uh, try again, try again. Ha ha ha, he ho ho ho. Okay, Yuri. This fucking handle. <laughs> okay, now I'm kind of glad I'm doing this. See, it gets, the ring gets easier each time. Phew, finally got it off. I suppose we can continue on now. Yep. Yep, I guess so. You've received sluice gate handle. It's all one word, so it's not sluice gate handle, it's sluice gate handle. <laughs> okay, so we gotta take it over the sluice gate, which is right over here. Please don't get me into a fight right before I reach it. Thank you. Okay, perfect. A little rusty, but I complain. Oh, you are such a creeper. Yay? I did something. Oh, right. It's up the water level, so we can now go and do the other thing in the other place. Oh! So I tried to go over and do the thing, and then this happened. Looks like it'll take a while for the water to drain. Oh, so we have to rest and, you know, become buddy-buddy and chummy and love interesty. Or, you know, something terrible will happen. Like, I do remember early on in this game, in my vague memory of the little bits and pieces of this game, that there's some sort of cannibal village. But I can't remember if that's an hour later. <laughs> it's easy, 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 easy. She's asleep. What's that all about? She's got some nerve. Oh dear god, not the hearts again. Yeah, the hell with it. I'm just gonna do what? You're going to do what? Bro. Not cool. Yeah, you ain't gonna do shit to her, bro. Father. What? You talking in your sleep? Don't scare me like that. Boy, why am I stuck protecting this damn girl who you keep having hearts over your head for already? Bro. Stop being a pervert. It's easy, 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 easy. Oh, please. Don't tell me she's dreaming about her dad. Phew. I'm getting a bit sleepy myself. Good. Yes, go to sleep, because then that means that you're not going to, you know, try cuddling up to a girl you just met. What the? This aura, it's... Uh-oh! Fox face guy! <laughs> it lasts weeks. Uh-oh. Father? And of course now his father shows up. What are you doing here? I've come to visit souls of the monsters you killed are quite alone, you see. 
souls of the monsters? What a lovely place. And yet, I must show proper courtesy. It is thanks to this woman's power that I have even... Her power? What? Haven't you noticed? This world overflows with the ghosts of the monsters slain. The gates of eternal darkness was closed until now, you see. This woman is causing it to open. The ghosts sealed inside the darkest depths of your hearts. They call to me, boy. And they demand I devour your soul. But you're his dad. That's kind of rude to do to your son. Oh, this is gonna end poorly. Stay away. Kick him in the face. Punch him in the face like you did with the fake Roger Bacon. Stay away! Oh, well, this is gonna end poorly. Hi, Dad! How you doing? Oh, look at that little polygon face. <laughs> Could you not? Oh, god damn it! That means I don't have enough SP to turn into a fusion. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, I also don't have the health for this shit, and I can't remember if I actually have to beat this guy or not. There is a lot of fights in this game that you're not supposed to win. That you're supposed to lose, and I can't actually remember if this is one or not. Because I'm pretty sure Foxface is supposed to kick my ass. I think I remember him kicking my ass. Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Confusion, he confusion too. Oh no, he wasn't fusioning, never mind. That was fucking rude. Bro. Okay, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Let's see if I die here. Definitely. So yeah, now he's turning into a fusion. Get a game over? Or did I call it? I called it! Definitely fucking called it. We're in the graveyard. Great. See, guys? Told ya. I did not have to beat him. What's going on? You're in a graveyard, son. Where am I? This is just like in my dreams. Huh? Where's my dad? Where is he? Well, he stabbed you, so. <laughs> so he didn't come with me. Eh? Damn, I can't believe this. Honestly, this is pretty lame illusion. If it is an illusion. Dot 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 dot. Yep, this is it, all right. The graveyard from my dreams. Oh man, I don't want to be remembering this. Now's the part where I get lost, then wake up in a cold sweat just as a monster's about to eat me. No, no, no! <laughs> Nothing but trouble ever since that freaking voice showed up. Maybe I've lost it completely. First, Dad jumps out of my nightmare and shows up right before my eyes, and now I'm in the dream. I'll s I save that girl and don't get s how much as a smile. Come on, aren't they supposed to get all dewy-eyed? Oh, Mr. Yuri, thank you ever so much, snitch! Ain't that how it's supposed to go? Well, no! Also, you're a pervert. <laughs> uh, yeah, yep, yeah, the, the sweat drop, guys, the anime sweat drop, he realizes he's a dumbass. Man, now I'm all depressed. I'm all depressed because I didn't get some action from the girl I just met yet. Oh, right. Hey, look, it's glowing. Ouch, aren't these tombstone things freaky? Almost like they're alive. 
Laugh, laugh, laugh. Wouldn't it be hilarious if all the monsters I killed started crawling out of it? Bro. Bro. <laughs> you brought this on yourself, dumbass. Fuck it, we're gone, Fusion. <laughs> Immediately, Fusion. <laughs> Tax with living darkness. Dark Messenger, why not? Oh, I got it perfect! Oh god, for a second there, I caught the game crash. <laughs> I would have been so sad if the game crashed on purpose. Also, look at them arms. Look like at crazy arms there. You think just arms so long you can touch his ankles that haven't been over. Eh, yeah, just doing regular attack. Oh, but he's getting injured because you know he's, you know, in games like Final Fantasy or well, some of the Final Fantasy games and other games, and the monsters about to die, they get all tired looking. Yep, he did. Yeah, I got a fusion soul. Soul of the Raging Tiger. I have a tiger, it's a thrill of fight. Something, 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 can't remember the words. So yeah, we got another fusion. So this is how we get all the fusions, but this, this... By the way guys, this game has multiple endings, and they... Which one you get heavily involves the stuff you do in the graveyard. Among other things. But, um... Suddenly I feel awful. Well, yeah, you just got a soul subbed in your bullet. A violent impulse wells up inside you. You perceive the soul of Tigerion. Tiger, Tigerion. It's a terrible name for a demon. A new soul to fuse with. Is this my power? Duh. So, I don't. I haven't decided which ending I'm going to get yet. Okay. So there's a good ending, and then there's a bad ending. The bad ending is actually canon, just like in Fatal Frame. Most Fatal Frames. The bad ending is actually canon, because the sequel, Shadow Hearts Covenant, jumps off of the bad ending, not the good ending. Though, it's very cyclical in that both endings are sort of canon after- it's confusing. If I ever play Shadow Hearts Covenant and we get to the end of the game, I'll explain everything. But just so you know, bad ending is technically canon. Sort of. In a way. It's confusing. Let me down, please. Oh my god, masks! Let's go see the masks. Mask friends! That door. It's special, and we have to go into that door at some point. If we want the good ending. Now I see you. It was you all pulling the strings, eh? Sword mask. We are pleased to see you, boy. The detestable young harmock. Harp. Harmo harmonic sir? Harmonic sir. Harmonic sir. Harmonic sir who damned us to eternal hell. <laughs> no need to thank me, but to be honest, I really haven't missed you guys at all. Staff mask. It's like the staff of a story. Oh, your pathetic bravado can't hide your fear. Keep laughing, I'll slice that stupid mask in two. <laughs> your mind may be able to comprehend this place, but your heart understands it full well. May not be able to comprehend that. Yes, this world is a reflection of your own mind's darkness. Darkness you created yourself. Cool story, bro. So yeah, to get the good ending in this game, way later on. It's like, not yet. Way later on, you have to defeat each of these masks doing a certain thing in a certain order in a side quest. It's confusing. 
<laughs> more of our brethren roaming about the world you strike down. The more you shall be consaturated with venomous malice, born of their bitter vengeance. And then, when the limit is passed, so shall he be reborn into the world of the living. <laughs> the man, the very thought of whom makes you shrink in terror. Your father! <laughs> and then he will come kill you. Enough! Shut your stinking mask face! That's enough! You think I'm scared? Don't make me laugh! I've been hunting monsters for ten years! I can handle one or two of those guys with a flick of my finger. You got that, you bodiless freaks! <laughs> Don't get so excited. I can't remember the names for any of these masks are, so they're just gonna be interchangeable. You loved your father so much that now you're wandering aimlessly in search for him. Stay out of this. Look, I'm just out for revenge for my parents. It's none of your concern. <laughs> Strange words for someone who still desperately wants to believe his father is alive somewhere. You. Now you're really starting to piss me off. <coughs> Say another word and I'll smash your smirking faces in. <laughs> Slow down, boy. Worry if not. We have a proper opponent for you. To sweep away the accumulation of malice, you must do that. So this is the game again. Mallet, the more monsters we kill in the game, the more our malice will grow. And if the malice grows too much, then we can start getting we start getting in fights with the mask. We don't want to get into fights in the, with the mask until later in the game if we want to get the good ending. So you go to the graveyard to defeat something in the graveyard to lower your malice. I think. Uh, granted, again, I haven't played this game since high school, so I might be a little bit wrong there, but you know. Oh, and also, I think if your malice is too high, you'll get into more fights, and when it's low, you get into less fights. I I should probably look this shit up, shouldn't I? I should probably read the manual. Sanity points. Oh, that's what SP means. SP means sanity points. What is this? Uh, eternal darkness. Uh, it doesn't say. Great. Oh no, there it is. The mouse again is going soon past you. The Reaper appears. The Reaper is in the form of one of Yuri's. Um, fears, what Yuri fears the most in attacks him. The defeated monster's wishes to instill fear into Yuri's heart. The curse of the masked monster. So, yeah, if your malice gets too high, you'll get attacked by the masks and fox face eventually, I think. And then, you know, game over. Because it kicks your ass. A lot. Ha! Come on, at least give me some sort of challenge. Who's next? You guys? Eventually. <laughs> well done. Your victory has set aside the vengeance of our brethren. And it appears the reactions of that cursed talisman you hold have vanished as well, his necklace. <laughs> it's too early to get cocky, boy. This purification is only temporary. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> When you return to your world, killing our compatriots will only result in increased malice. Then, you will come back here to lower it. No matter how many you slaughter, this hell will continue. <laughs> then, in due time, he will be resurrected. The man you fear more than death itself. Your father. <laughs> Do you intend to keep running forever? Oh, how much easier it would be for you if you'd simply come here in death. Rude. Enough! Shut up! <laughs> be gone with you, boy. Return to the world of the living. 
Ok, papai. Papai, you creepy mother bus, motherfucker. Is wait up. Oh, it's Alice trying to wake me up. Wake up! Wake up! Yuri, please open your eyes. <clears throat> open your eyes, perverted man who I just met. <laughs> oh, my head again. Yeah, just get out of the graveyard, bro. Wake up! Wake up, please! Yuri, please open your eyes! Well, at least she's awake now. Left off with part of its enclosure. None of your business. My head's really starting to hurt, that's all. Phew! How long was I out? Only two or three minutes since I found you. But you seem in such pain. Nothing to worry about. I always have nightmares ever since I was a kid. Come on, let's go. It's, it's nothing to worry about. Don't worry about it. It's not like anything terrible is going to happen. And by that I mean lots of terrible things are probably going to happen. Lot, lot, lots of scars. Learn how to, learn how to control the damn game. Okay. So that's going to be it for this video. A little bit shorter than my usual RPG videos are, but I do want to just give an intro to the game. So you guys can see some of it and all of that jazz. Thankfully I haven't had to cut too, won't have to cut too much out of this video. Because we're not getting into too many random fights, but... Oh well. And that's going to be it, so... Oh, oh, before I forget. You see that little thing there that says Malice? That's what that is. When it's blue, it's good. When it's red, it's not so good. We don't want it to be red. So we go to the graveyard when it's red to lower it back to blue. And my name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Shadow Hearts. I'll see you all in the next